If you've been following the Second Amendment debate, you probably have heard the name William Blackstone or perhaps Blackstone's commentaries. Well, have you ever wondered what exactly are Blackstone's commentaries and what do they have to do with the Second Amendment? Well, today we're gonna to talk about William Blackstone and why a law book he wrote over 200 years ago finds itself in the center of today's legal debates about the meaning of the Second Amendment and what rights you and I have because of it. Stay tuned. Hey folks, I'm Mark, and welcome to the Four Boxes Diner. The Supreme Court has held that the way to figure out what the Second Amendment means today is to look at how the people who adopted it in 1791 understood it. And one of the sources that people consult is a law book written in 1791. That's 1791 by a man named William Blackstone. Now Blackstone's book was entitled The Commentaries on the Law of England. But who is William Blackstone? And why do his commentaries tell us anything about the Second Amendment? Well, William Blackstone was born in 1723. He was a prominent English lawyer, law professor, and judge. But the thing that Blackstone was known for are his commentaries on English law. Now, the first volume of Blackstone's commentaries was published in 1765. And what exactly were these commentaries about and why should you care? Well, you know, these commentaries were basically a detailed summary of all of English law uh, back then in the late seven, mid to late 1700s. And Blackstone's commentaries were extremely widely published, both in England and most importantly, for our rights here in America. Now the leading founding fathers all read carefully Blackstone's commentaries. They owned their own copies of this book. They relied on Blackstone's commentaries as the best and most accurate description of English law and those rights of an Englishman, which is what, of course, America's founders considered them to be before we became the United States. Now, many of these rights in the Bill of Rights, including the Second Amendment, were partially based on this English law. And looking at what Blackstone had to say about these English rights can tell us a lot about what our own Constitution means, because again, Blackstone's commentaries was an extremely valuable source and resource for our founding fathers. Now this brings us to the importance of Blackstone's commentaries for the Second Amendment itself. And the first thing that we can learn from Blackstone about our right to keep and bear arms is that it protects the individual right of self-defense. When Blackstone wrote about the English right to arms, which was guaranteed, that's an important word, guaranteed. In the 1689 Declaration of Rights, Blackstone said that the right guaranteed the natural right of resistance and self-preservation, and the right of having and using arms for self-preservation and individual defense. So what does that mean? Well, it means that the right to arms was meant to secure and protect the God-given or natural right to self-defense. It was a right all humans enjoyed regardless of their birthright or their social status. The other important thing to learn from William Blackstone and his writings is that the Second Amendment protects the right to keep and bear commonly owned or common arms that Americans use for lawful purposes like self-defense and hunting. In describing the English right to arms, Blackstone explained that it did not include the right to have dangerous and unusual weapons. And again, that's dangerous and unusual, not dangerous or unusual, because all weapons are dangerous. No, it had to be dangerous and unusual, which meant, of course, the commonly owned arms were protected. Again, that means that guns or other weapons that are commonly used by the people, such as today, ordinary common pistols, rifles, AR-15 style uh, firearms, and shotguns would be protected and are protected today because that was the sort of gun that would have been protected at the time of William Blackstone writing about the law of England in his commentaries. 
Let's wrap up. So today we've learned a little bit about William Blackstone and his legal commentaries. That Blackstone's book shows that the Second Amendment protects a right to individual armed self-defense. And that the book also shows that the right to keep and bear arms protects firearms or guns that are in common use today by American civilians. So thanks for joining me here at the Four Boxes Diner where we serve hot, fresh Second Amendment news and analysis on a daily basis. If you like what you heard, please subscribe and spread the word. See you next time here at the Four Boxes Diner. Orders up, table 2A.